everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka... And it's time for another Twitter thread. The last couple of weeks, we've been giving Konami every idea that we can manage. A laundry list of releases if they want to make one quadrillion dollars in the next quarter. But today, we're going to tackle the biggest problem there is cards that are just a little bit too good. Now in Yu-Gi-Oh! If a card gets too good, there's two options. You either put it on the ban list where it can no longer be played, where cards like the one you see in front of you probably should be, or if Konami wants to keep the card around because it's a fan favorite, they can change the power level of a card with an errata. So I figured we've got a lot of brain geniuses in our chat. Let's see if we can't fix some of these broken cards ourselves. I'll go first. Of course, I made Maxi. During either player's turn, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This turn, every time your opponent special summons a monster, draw a card. And then you just put a you just put a little bit of text on the bottom, and all of a sudden, it's a completely fair card. This is an easy one, but saying you can only control one Cash Tira Shangri Era on this bad boy would have fixed most gripes people have with the card format. Would still suck though. Very true, but at least there would be one fewer nine zone lock. The easiest way to fix this card would be level two, link two, and rank two monsters this card points to cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. No, the easiest way to fix this card would be to change its requirements to two sprite monsters. A casualty of the link era just needs a cannot be used as link material clause or a hard ones per turn. Hard ones per turn kind of kills the card anyway, but can't be used as link material almost completely fixes this card. Yeah. Yeah, if Union Carrier could only equip unions, it would be completely fine. It, it makes no sense why it didn't ever say that. One of the easiest erratas in the game. I once worked on a series several years ago about giving cards errata, privated in its entirety. One such errata was Fiber Jar. Such an annoying card to resolve with too much time in the round to waste. I propose this downside. Each player shuffles all cards from their hand, field, or graveyard into the deck, then draws five cards. And if you do that, you lose life points equal to the number of cards shuffled into the deck by this effect times 500. That, that just kills you. I disagree. I think there is a much more elegant solution to this card. Flip, it's pizza time. <laughs> So much of this deck is hard ones anyway. I think you could relax two cans effect to a soft ones per turn. Oh, you're proposing a buff here. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that if you make two can a soft ones per turn, I am going to figure out a way to FTK. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Uh, most of the rest of the fairy tales care about the 1850 spellcaster line. So what if she had to banish one of those as well? Literally all this card needs is to either have one of its materials be a Crystron or its effect is you can only summon Crystron monsters for the rest of the turn. Yeah, that'd be a great way to make sure that none of us ever play it again. Select five cards from your deck and show them to your opponent. Your opponent selects one card among them. Add the card to your hand and discard the remaining cards to the graveyard. You must sacrifice one body part to activate this card. How painful will this choice be? All right, I think that's maybe a little too playable still. So what if it said your opponent picks the body part? This one isn't even out. You don't need to. It's not even out yet. If I were to change these cards, you'd give them the domain lock. You can't have any cards in your extra deck or anything. Okay, I could see that. Changing the first effect to a hard ones per turn would be boring. So let's say after using her first effect, she's banished when she leaves the field like quick fix. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? Why doesn't she do that? That makes... That makes perfect sense. The turn you activate this card, you can't activate monster effects. I will still play this card. I'll play in generator. Choose one of the following effects. Add a pendulum monster from your deck to your extra deck. Char target a face up card you control. Destroy it and add a pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand. You can only use each of these effects once per duel. I think beyond the pendulum is a better card than this. This person just wants maintenance costs on these fucking cards. I, you know what? Honestly, that's fine. Give them all the mirror wall treatment, 2K or else. Target any number of monsters in your graveyard. Special summon them, and if you do, you lose a thousand for each monster special summoned by this effect. You can't conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. After activation, if this is the first activation of Soul Charge this duel, add it to your opponent's hand. Nah, this isn't enough. Nah. I will, I will break the game with this. Make it so the monster you get the additional summon with has to be set face down. Uh, that would make it worse, but why would you do that? The monster cannot attack. Your opponent takes no battle or effect damage for the rest of the turn. The monster effects are negated on the field. Graveyard, and if banished once per duel, you cannot summon a monster with the same name as that monster. What the fuck? Then why print the goddamn card? I honestly think that you cannot activate spell effects for the rest of the duel style restrictions, like Sekka's Light are kind of slept on. I could see that on grass. That would be interesting. Uh, pretty much exactly the same as it is, but uh, let people respond to it. Agreed! You can only special summon Gem Knight monsters after you use this effect. Snore! Your opponent takes no effect damage after this card is activated. Snore! Come on! It's not useful for anything in that case! Activate if you have less spells face up on the field and in the graveyard than your opponent. 
No, it's still crazy. Obviously, this card's draw three, discard two is a powerful effect. How about adding an effect where cards that were discarded have their graveyard effects negated? So someone like Necro Gardna or Elemental Hero Necro Shade cannot activate their effects if they are discarded. I want to live in this person's brain. Declare two numbers on one to six, then your opponent rolls a 100-sided <laughs> We could still break this. As long as you're playing the Ishizu Shufflers, this is just, that grass is really fucking green. If there is a spell card in either graveyard, destroy this card. No, it is the anti-spell fragrance. Inspector Border isn't powerful, but it's very annoying. I ask that the effect is changed to something more unique. This is more difficult to understand. While I do think Meowmoo could come back on Arata, I have an idea on how it could support out Emancipators without killing Prankits. Make it so you can only summon Prankids from the extra one more time the turn you summon Miyamu. You are <laughs> asking for the card to be changed in a way that hurts the archetype it is designed for so you can splash it in your bullshit ass combo deck. Come on. Give Norton a hard OPT on both effects. Nope, still crazy. Remove the monster lock from Azathoth. Why? <laughs> you cannot special summon effect monsters from the extra deck the turn you activate this effect. Everyone here is saying still crazy. What are you doing with it? Free mats to link into what? Berserker of the Tenyi? Holy shit, Traffic Ghost going crazy. Hear me out. It's a high concept change here, but I really think it'll be better for the game in the long run. You can only activate this card if you look like this. Ha <laughs> ha. But surely nobody does though, unless... I'd change Yujo friendship. So even if your opponent accepts the concept of a handshake, they need to do some movement of their arms in the way you would do a handshake or else they would lose the game. What, why? Why do you people want this? The easy answer is to hard once it, but we don't take the easy route. Morphtronic Telephone. Shiggies, I'm so sorry this happened to you. If anyone uses this card in a duel, they are banned. Your opponent may tar you with a gun, they may shoot you. <laughs> I think a Rise Hearts macro effect should only apply if it has three plus materials. The lore is that a Rise Heart is a fusion of three of the instances of Vsauce. It should give the opponent a token with the same stats as the target. I don't like tokens that you have to remember the stats of. But this card is not long for this world. Don't worry, this card is not gonna live forever. I almost feel bad that we are just consistently showing up Konami every single week. Like, it, it, it must be painful to walk into work every Tuesday and see that MBT has gifted you the next three and a half weeks of content. Like, is it even worth them working with me, right? What are they gonna hand me? A box full of cards that we designed? Sheesh. Not a, that's not a bad errata, I'm not gonna lie. That's not a bad errata.